Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Robert Wawu and I'm the lead mix engineer here at the Mix Labs. Today I want to share with you how I use the Manny Marocain Signature Series plugins by Waves in my mix of the song This Is Me by up and coming singer songwriter Live Heart. Enjoy the video podcast. But I wanted to know that she's special. So this is what I tell her. First order of business is usually my lead vocals. And uh, the Manny Marroquin series uh, offers a tone shaper as uh, an amazing tool to accomplish a lot of things with lead vocals. And I want to illustrate a little bit about that now. It takes a moment to know that she's special. I'll bring up the tone shaper in bypass mode she lives life um, to and to illustrate what I'm doing uh, on the aside. different bands, I'll, I'll take the bands out but I wanted to know that she's and special. bring them slowly back in so you can hear so what's this happening. Is what I tell her. You can fly as high as a I'll engage the plug-in. In the sky. Take your chance on love every time. Set my input and my output. And uh, bring in a little way bit of high since it's the missing, it's a little dull, so it's missing a little bit of high day. end. So perfect, and I'll keep that think? at a um, lower range of the frequency, at one. Then this I'll is you, this some, is uh, him, this is her, this is them, this is me. Uh, just to make the vocal cut a little bit more through. Once you're, you're not alone the with the things that you feel, we all lose And last but not least, I'll dive a little bit of the body back. In You've got one shot with my to give it all. Oh, you better make sure it's your very best. Because this is you, very this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. Oh, So in addition to my load and fold, I also use this extensively um, to get some pre-process before I actually hit the mixing stage. And we'll do some bypass Ooh, to let you see what's he's happening. He's a handsome man with a lot on his hands. He does what he can to provide them with a good living. He wants them Take to know out. that they're special. Sometimes the spirit gets weak and he feels like in. walking out. Oh, but it's hot I'll take the bands back out. But I want him to know See that he's special. So this is what I tell him. You can Bring fly as high in. as a bird in the sky. Take your chance Birdie on love every time. A little more body. The way you smile at the world makes an ordinary day so perfect, don't you think? This is how we would use the tone shaper to get a little bit more out of the lead vocal. This is you, this is him, this is her. This is the next order of business I usually take care of uh, are my drums, starting with the overheads. And uh, depending on your mixing style, you may or may not keep the lead vocal in. I do usually, because uh, I build everything around it. Pretty girl with the locks and the hair has bring got in my so overheads. much to share. Will anyone stop to just listen? And again, it takes uh, a I love this to tool, the Tone Shaper. So we're going to bring up the plug-in in Bypass Mode. She lives life On to stereo sources, you actually get uh, another attribute, which is your width attribute, which I've used in this particular but case on my stereo overheads. Just want to get a little bit more life out of them. More excitement. As high as a bird Bring my lead vocal in back the sky. In. And now, take your bypass chance the on love and bring every them in time. slowly so we can listen to what's going on. The way you smile at the world makes an ordinary day so perfect. Widen them a little bit think. with the uh, width feature. This is you, this is him, this is her, this Dialing is them, a little bit more this air. is me. You can hear what's You're happening. not alone with the things that you feel. We all lose sight from time to time. You've got one shot. To give well, it all, you better make sure so it's your very best. Cause this is you, this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. Oh, yeah. 
and they'll add a little of the low mid band in so my cymbal crashes are a little bit rounded and uh, fuller sounding. Ooh, he's a handsome man with a lot on so To see what happens, let's audition it. Take it out. Bring it back in. Everything opens up and clears up nicely. I want him to know Bring that he's special. So this is what I tell him. Another thing I like to do on the overheads, the way you smile to add the mention, is add a little bit of artificial uh, a room dimension to them. And the reverb unit uh, plugin that comes in uh, does an excellent job of that. Bring him the plugin in bypass mode. And I've already dialed up a quick setting for a medium room just to extend the uh, drum overheads a little bit more. Gonna bring it in. Give it more dimension. Take it out. Bring it back in. One shot some to give it all. You better and make sure attitude. it's your very best. Cause this is you, this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. Oh, this is me. So continuing on with our drums, the next uh, one in line uh, I usually tackle is the kick. Again, uh, my one of my favorite plugins, the Tone Shaper, uh, works very, very well so on these sources. Will anyone stop to just listen? It takes a moment to know that she's special. I'll bring up the Tone Shaper in bypass mode. And I've already have my uh, settings dialed in. To so I'll take uh, the bands out and uh, let you hear how I made my selections but I wanted to know that she's why. So here's it in bypass mode. I want a little bit more snap on the kick. Uh, so I used my uh, my high band, uh, parallel compression. Get a little bit more snap. See the snap coming in. I'll solo it so you can see it. There we go. Also, I wanted it a little bit more rounder, um, so I give it a little bit more of the low parallel compression on very conservative on the one setting. See how it dials that right back up. Bring my overheads in, make sure my contact is right. Take it out. Bring it in. See how it sits really nice with the overheads. Ooh, he's a Bring a overview of how you use a tone shaper on a kick. Does what he can to Makes the kick sit really good. The recorded snare is also a great candidate for the tone shaper as um, it lacked a little bit of life um, uh, as far as uh, cutting through the mix uh, sound a little bit dull. So I'll illustrate how I got it to sit better in the mix using the tone shaper. You, so I bring it up in bypass her, mode. I'll take my bands out. So you can see what each band is doing. Bring in a little bit more uh, high so I can cut through. A little bit of uh, upper mids. I want it to be a little bit more rounder, uh, the body around the snare. Here you can hear without the upper mids. A little bit more cut. And there's the body.
take it out. Solo it so you can listen to what it does. Bring it in. Opens it up nicely on the top end and gives it a little bit rounder uh, feel. Take it out. Bring it back in. Like the overheads. This is you, this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. This is you, this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. You're not alone with the things that you feel. We all lose sight from time to time. That's how I use the tone shaper to bring a little bit of life to the snare and make it sit better in the mix. Another great application for the tone shaper is the bass guitar. Pretty girl with the locks and the hair has got so much. So the bass, hear the tone real quick. Oh, that she's special. Bring up a plug-in and bypass mode again. She I'll take my bands out so we can see how the world tone that she changes inside. using the plug-in. But I wanted to know that she's special. So this is what I tell her. You can fly as high as a little bird bit more girth out of the bass. The a little bit around with tone around the uh, lower Take your mids. chance on love every time. You can never have a bit more low end to it. The way you smile at the world so makes an ordinary day so Take perfect, it out. don't you think? And you can hear the tone changes right there and there. This is you, this is him, this is her, this is them, this is me. So with those few adjustments, you get a nice round and great sounding bass tone using the tone shape. So this is what I tell him. You can fly as high as a bird. Backing vocals also um, can benefit of a couple of the plugins. My choices here were the triple D and the EQ. So let's see how I put those to use. You can fly as high as a bird in the First, sky. let's bring up the triple D. It's all the backup Take vocals. Take your chance on love every time Like you never done before and I have the, uh, both the of them in bypass mode. The and I really used the uh, D boxy to uh, get some of the boxiness out of the background vocals. So let me bring those in. We can take a listen to those. This is you, him, her, them, me. You're not alone with the things that you it. feel. One shot to give it all. You better make context. sure it's your very best. Cause this is you, him, her. Next, I bring up the EQ me. so I can make them cut a little bit more through the mix since this they're sitting a little bit on the stereo extremes of the spectrum. And I dialed in very conservative levels, You're a little bit around 12K, um, a little bit about 1.5, 1.6, a little bit about 400. One you can shot. see how the backing vocals uh, immediately open up and sure feel much better in the best. mix. So I take them out. This is you, him, her. EQ 
you than again. Me. You can fly as high as a bird. Make some nice and airy. Sit really well. Take your chance on right. love every time. I hope you enjoyed this video podcast illustrating just a few examples on how to use the Many Metal Can series plugins by Waves. Peace and happy mixing. We all lose sight.